Hello everyone. Welcome to English lesson 2. Here is your starter. What can you identify from the given text? What is your name? He asked me. How old is your mother? He asked. The policeman said to the boy, where do you live? What can you identify from these texts? Yes, it is a form of a dialogue. Where can we find this dialogue? In a play script. Here is your LFQ. How do I punctuate direct speech effectively? Write the topic, today's date and your LFQ. So in this lesson, you are going to study about direct speech. You will be able to identify direct speech in the sentence. What is direct speech? Direct speech is writing down or reporting the actual words that were said by a speaker. Here you can find the examples of the direct speech. What time does the train arrive? She asked. When can we have dinner? She asked. Peter said to John, why are you so late? So there are some rules to punctuate direct speech. First rule, place the inverted commas around the words which are spoken. So you can find the sentence which are spoken. That is what time does the train arrive? When can we have dinner? Why are you so late? So once when you begin to write that sentence, you have to place the inverted comma. That is the first rule and close the inverted comma. Second one, use a capital letter at the start of a speech sentence. When you begin to start to write the speech sentence, you have to use the capital letter. Here it is W. W. What time does the train arrive? When can we have dinner? Why are you so late? So W is the capital letter. Third point, before you close your inverted commas, Use a comma, question mark or exclamation mark to separate what was said from the speaker. So in the first example, what time does the train arrive? It is a form of a question. So put a question mark and then close the inverted comma. If it is in the form of an exclamatory sentence, you have to put the exclamation mark to separate what was said from the speaker. And please note that in a play script, we are writing the dialogues without speech marks. In the dialogues, we are not putting the inverted commas in a play script. But in direct speech, as it is a report of the exact words said by the speaker, you have to use the speech marks. So speech marks is necessary when you write the direct speech. Example, she said, put a comma, then place the inverted commas. After that, begin with the capital letter. I am watching a movie. It is a sentence. So, close the sentence, put a full stop and then close the sentence with the inverted comma. Here you can find another direct speech sentence. He said, let's go to the cinema. We write a comma before the direct speech. So, this is the direct speech. We are putting the comma before that. Second thing, we write the exact words inside the inverted commas. So inside the inverted commas, we are writing the exact actual words said by the speaker. As it is a dialogue. Let's go to the cinema. Third one, the first letter is a capital letter. When you begin to write the direct speech, the first letter will be the capital letter. Finally, we write a full stop before the closing inverted comma. So before the closing of the sentence, we put a full stop and then close with the inverted commas. Hope it is clear for you now. Here is your AFL question. Try to do this. Punctuate the following sentence correctly. What is your name? He asked me. Well done, said my teacher. 
Alia said, I got a laptop on my birthday. How will you punctuate the following sentences? Now let's check the answers. First one, what is your name? Since it is a direct speech, we put inverted comma in the beginning. Then don't forget to write the capital letter. Since it is a form of a question, we put a question mark and then close the sentence with the inverted comma. Second one, well done. It is an exclamatory sentence. Place the inverted comma and before closing the inverted commas, put an exclamation mark. Well done, said my teacher. Third one, Alia said, comma, you have to place a comma before you start the direct speech. Alia said, I got a laptop on my birthday. Place the inverted commas, then full stop, then close the sentence with the speech mark, that is direct speech, inverted commas. What have we learned so far? We learned about the direct speech. The direct speech is writing down or reporting the actual words that were said by a speaker. You have to place the inverted commas around the words which are spoken. Example, the exhibition finished last week. You have to put a inverted comma here. Explained James. She said, Today's lesson is on presentation. After she said, we place a comma and before starting the direct speech, we put the inverted commas, then close the inverted commas with the full stop. First put full stop, then close the inverted comma. He said, you have won the lottery. Here is your task. Identify the sentences with speech marks and punctuate the sentences with speech marks which are not in direct speech. So first you have to identify the sentences with the speech marks. And place the punctuation mark or the speech marks which are not in direct speech sentence. Now task two, add dialogues with speech marks to the sentence and punctuate correctly. You have to write your own dialogues and punctuate the sentences correctly. Peter asked Milan, you have to write the dialogue inside the inverted comma. Dash cried the robber. Dash said James. My friend shouted. Here you can find an exclamation. So exclamatory sentence you have to add. Now task 3. Rewrite the paragraph with correct punctuation, capital letters, speech marks and exc exclamation. Read the paragraph properly and put the correct punctuation, capital, mark, capital letters, speech marks and exclamation. Here is your plenary. Same way as you did before. Type and search joinmyquiz.com. Open join a game quiz and enter the game code. Hope it is clear for you now how to punctuate the direct speech. Please note that in a play script, we are writing the dialogues without the speech marks. But in direct speech, speech mark is necessary to write the dialogues. Study the rules, revise and complete your task. Take care. Bye.